Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example of the linearity problem deals with a current source. Here we have the current source for which we need to find the current value. We have a load resistor connected to the linear circuit and we know that there's a 12 volt potential difference across the load resistor. So what is the current through the current source? Well first let's find the current through the load resistor. Using Ohm's law we know that I is equal to V divided by R. In this case I on the output must be equal to the voltage across the output which is 12 volts divided by the resistance which is 4 ohms and that would be equal to 3 amps. So we know that there's a 3 amp current I sub O equals 3 amps. Now we can find the voltage drop across this resistor right here because we know again that the voltage drop using Ohm's law is equal to the current times the resistance. The current is 3 amps through the 6 ohm resistor times 6 ohms that's equal to 18 volts which means we have a 12 volt drop across this resistor and 18 volt drop across this resistor which means that between this node and ground we must have a 30 volt potential difference. So there's a 30 volt potential difference across the 10 ohm resistor which means using Ohm's law that the current I is equal to V over R which is equal to 30 volts divided by 10 ohms which is equal to 3 amps. Now that could have also been found by realizing that the resistance on this branch is 10 ohms, the resistance on this branch is 10 ohms, that means they both must carry the same amount of current, 3 amps on this branch and 3 amps on this branch, which means that the total current through the source and through the driver on the circuit has to be the, the two currents together, 3 plus 3 being 6 amps, so I of the source is equal to 3 amps plus 3 amps, which is equal to 6 amps at the source. Now the question says, what would be the source current if the voltage across the, res the load resistor now went up to 20 volts? Well, there must be a bigger current driving the voltage drop there. How do we calculate that? Well, we have to realize that the new current on the source, I on the source new, must be equal to some constant ratio to the old. So that would be I of the source old. And we can see that that would be the ratio of V nu across the load resistor divided by V old across the load resistor. Again, there's that linear relationship. That's what linearity means, which means in this case, that would be equal to 20 volts divided by 12 volts multiplied times the original current, which is 6 amps when we had our initial conditions. 6 divided by 12, that's 1 half. 1 half times 20 volts, that would be 10 amps. 10 amps, that would be the new current driving the circuit. If you go and measure the voltage across the road, across the road resistor, the load resistor, and you measure it to be 20 volts instead of 12 volts, you could then assume that the current has increased proportionally. The proportional increase would then be 10 amps instead of the 6 amps on the current source. And again, this is a good example of what we mean by the linearity property and with a linear circuit.